Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. I'm at the lobby checking out and I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. Do you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just paid me a month's salary up front. He can't really tell Of course I'm not gonna do it. No way I'm getting here that way. Besides, let's call this nice. The dunce doesn't even know my real name. Would you believe I said my name? Right, so I'll let this teacher play. Hey, yeah, 
I'm all dark. Whatever. Let's just uh, get another Come drink. Join me, okay? You know, I sent you a knife. Focus on me. Uh, fire. Sir, I have time for you. Oh, God, it's a wonderful place. Maybe. Look, your guy's clearly late. Maybe he just took the money. Oh, finally. Where have you been? Sorry, I'm late. Streets on so. about the location of the seventh building. Stick to the facts. I got it. The accusations, the trial, uh, Stromberg's dramatic breakout. You know, get his side of the story. Title, I got this. Right. And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. Big one.
You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I must say I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest. Yes? Hello there. Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. Aha! Capital, you made it! Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Hmm? I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. And this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere. Thanks, bud. Access to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47. showed up on your doorstep and you were arrested for billions of dollars in misappropriation. Touch with a charge. Yes. Do you have any explanation for the death? Excuse me, uh, I, I just gotta check you. Uh, don't worry, okay? Uh, this is gonna be over in a second, so... <laughs> All right, you're good. You're good to go. Fuck you. Ma'am, we need to call it a wrap. Be the 
Next up, raise the Zeta. This day, man. This day. Hey there, photo man. How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. If he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But... Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the Mark's attacks were in the prison. So he, uh, he got cold feet and tried to build a lid on the whole operation. Ugh, not smart, but uh, pretty human. 
I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. I hear you. I'm hearing ghosts or someone's messing with us. Go check it out. Certainly. Now to locate General Zaydan. So what did he do? Prisoner. Uh, never you mind. General Zaydan says the man's a traitor, and that's all there is to it. Operation. Tried to rat us out. Ask the captain. He'll know. It's been on that phone forever. It's so important. Ex-wife. Yeah, I bet that's why he saved the execution for after. Dismissed. General Satan's order. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Is... Is someone in here? Hello? to decide what should I do. Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Said. There's plenty of time for that, I'm sure.
Jesus, man. General Satan's all.